It's advisable when starting the catfish farm, you don't just start with one pond. Why so? Now, the fishes have different growth rates. Humans have. You can burn two. You might see two chai today. This might even be the, the elder, and the smaller one might even be looking taller than the person. Different genetic uh, makeup. It happens also to the fish. You might see fishes that are three months and they are looking, they are still small. Or they came in the same batch. You bought all the fingerlings together, and you see one that is going very big. You are celebrating it. You are big, you are big, you are big. But no, you must also have a place where you sort them after some time. Those ones that are getting big, you move them to a different pond. Then the smaller one, you get to a separate pond also. So you don't just put all the fishes in one pond and say, ah, ah this one big or this one small. What will happen? The big one will swallow the small one. Except you want them to be doing rare rambo where they start fighting on a daily basis. No, you sort the fishes. Now, sorting helps to reduce cannibalism in the, 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 the pond. If you don't sort, the big ones will just come and then when they are hungry, they just look around and open their mouth, the small one enter inside it. And this is not a case of Jonah fish swallowing Jonah because it won't vomit it out after three days. As they swallow the fishes, it's gone. It's now meal for it. So sort the fishes as a farmer. From time to time, you do the sorting. After two weeks, you sort. Also, look at the sizes. Most times, you look at the sizes of the fishes. You know, oh, we are now we have like two different sizes, and you sort them: the big ones to one pond, the small ones to a different pond. Now, this will help you for the feed ratioing to know. Okay, the big ones are now taking maybe the two mm size, while the small one are still taking the 1.2 or the 1.5 feed sizes also. So you don't use the eyes of the big one. Ah, this one's they are not big. Let me switch to a bigger fish size. So, but once you sort, it helps you to feed. You can still be feeding the 1.5 to in pond one. While the way you sorted, we are feeding two mm already. So you don't just feed two mm. The bigger ones will only eat. The small ones will not eat. And when it comes to the type of harvest, you stock 1,000. The bigger 500 have cleared up the other smaller ones. They are only the ones they are seeing because when it comes to feed, since they are big, they will chance the small one shift, shift, and they come up and eat. They are happy, I ah, have baby fishes in the pond. Any day you drain water from that pond, you notice that the big one might just be 50 that is showing theirself on top of the pond, while the small ones that are under are still very small. You might even still have finger lengths, juveniles, after like five moons, you stock them in the pond. So, but with sorting, it helps you. Separate them and those ones can be in a different pond and grow at their own pace. So the fishes don't grow at the same pace. They take some of them take their time to grow. So sort your fishes from time to time as a fish farmer.